But I'm saying five, 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 five. Two hands, five on each hand, five. Just five. Jason Capson, the Jason Capson channel, the five exercises. When I do this, does anyone else get confused because I do it two times, it looks like it's 10. Maybe I should just do one hand, but I'm saying five, 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 five. Two hands, five on each hand, five, just five. The five exercises that you need to stop doing right now to avoid all the injuries that I had. Stop doing it. Once upon a time, I was a competitive bodybuilder. Once upon a time, I was a pretty good bodybuilder. I won't say I was the greatest bodybuilder, but I was a pretty good bodybuilder. Won a couple of shows, did some things, and then became a coach and coached national world level champion athletes. Learned along the way, have had every injury known to man during the process. But the five exercises that we need to stop doing are press behind neck, pull downs behind the neck, dumbbell side bends. Why is anybody doing that exercise? Anyway, upright rows, gonna destroy your rotator cuffs. And for the love of all that is holy, please, please stop the insanity with the heavy hip thrust. Stop it. Heavy hip thrusts don't work. Those are the five. Let's break it down. So the five exercises that we need to stop doing that I still see people doing after 35 years of doing this, I still see people doing these exercises. And trust me when I tell you, I've done them all and I've injured myself doing them all and I've had every injury known to man. I'm not telling you to stop doing this because I don't want you to be successful. I'm telling you to stop doing these because I want you to be successful and I don't want you to be injured. Pull downs behind the neck. Put your shoulders in a very vulnerable position. You're going to get injured. It's just that simple. Instead, do wide grip pull downs to the front. Please. Shoulder presses behind the neck. The same exact reason, the same exact thing. Shoulder presses behind the neck are just going to lead to injuries. Instead, do front press or dumbbell press for your shoulders. Much safer. Do lateral raises. Instead, do shoulder press. Instead, do Arnold press. There's a million different exercises you can do to build your shoulders. Upright rows. Upright rows will destroy your shoulders over time. They don't, there, there's a lot of other exercises that you can do that will help you grow incredible traps and incredible shoulders. There's a lot of exercises that we find out over time that I used to do upright rows all the time, but I've had a ton of shoulder injuries. And your shoulder, when you, when you injure your shoulders, you literally can't do chest, you can't do shoulders, you can't do triceps, you can't, you can't do anything for your upper body if you destroy a rotator cuff. Or if you, if you have a pin, do you ever have a pinched nerve? Do you ever have a pinched nerve in your trap? Do you ever hurt your shoulder really, really bad, have a pull or a tear? It, it takes forever to heal and you can't do anything else. So I'm trying to help you avoid these injuries before it happens. Shrugs are good. Do either barbell shrugs or dumbbell shrugs, uh, straight up, straight down, uh, maybe coming up and forward a little tiny bit, but do not roll your shoulders. Oh, I see that too, that should be on here. Don't do rolling shoulder shrugs. Please stop the insanity. Why would you do an exercise literally with weights that builds muscle on the, why would you want a thicker waist? Stop doing that exercise. Why would you do an exercise with weights? You're trying to build muscle. Think about this logically. When you lift, when you add resistance, you're building muscle. What do you think this exercise is building? Do you think you're burning fat when you do dumbbell side bits? Do you think you're burning fat when you do that exercise? Think about this. I know you can't see my whole body, <laughs> but what I'm saying is you're not. You're building thickness, you're building, why would you want to build muscle on your waist? Why would you want your waist to be thicker? Why would you want your waist to be, most of us want a smaller waist, wider shoulders, wider back, we want that X shape. 
X, I don't know where who came up with X shape, but anyways, that's what we want. We want a smaller waist. Kobe. Instead, do any movement like scissor kicks or any other movement that isolates the obliques and the serratus. You want to isolate them. You don't want to build bulk on them. You don't want to be using weights when it comes to anything to do with your obliques. Can we stop, please? Number one, number one exercise drives me crazy when I see people doing this is heavy, heavy hip thrust. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hip thrusts are an isolation movement. Why are we doing them with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds? Things that make you go, hmm, on them. You're taking all the emphasis off your glutes and you're putting it on your hips and your adductor. You're just destroying your body. It's not helping you to grow glutes. There's a million other exercises that help with glutes. And I'm not saying to not do hip thrusts. I'm saying to do them with no weight or very, very light weight and do it for tempo. Slow down, slow up, squeeze, slow down, slow up, squeeze. Do it as part of a superset. Do it as part of a giant set. But stop the insanity. That was, this was insane. Heavy hip thrusts do not grow glutes. Stop it. Stop doing heavy hip thrusts. Do hip thrusts, but do them with tempo. Go really, really light or no weight at all and go up for a count of six, squeeze for a count of four, down for a count of six and keep doing them like that. You will feel it more doing it that way. It's an isolation movement. It's an isolation movement. Do it like an isolation movement. Just because somebody with a good body is doing an exercise doesn't mean they got that body from that exercise. Generally, when you see anybody, male or female, with good glutes, they were born that way. They have genetically gifted glutes. It's like, so there's some guys with bigger biceps than other guys. No matter what some guys do, they just can't build bigger biceps. Some people just have genetically larger muscle bellies in their biceps. It's the same thing with glutes. When you see somebody with big, I'm not saying you can't improve your glutes. I'm not saying you can't build glutes. I'm just saying. 99% of the time when you see somebody with big old glutes on them, it's because they were born that way and then they've done the exercises to help continue that metamorphosis. But we, as a rule, are limited by our genetics. We do have some genetic predispositions. So don't think because that guy or that girl that's over there doing 300 pound hip thrust built glutes from doing that silly exercise. That's not how they did it. And by the way, that's one of that, that's in my opinion, the worst exercise you can do for your glutes that way. Stop doing it. Now, that's not all the exercises, not even close. I'm not saying that these are the only exercises to do, but I am saying those are the five to not do. Don't do them anymore. Stop the insanity.